welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome for this video i'm going to be doing a pastel nail design but i'm starting off with some of this new gel polish i'm going to be putting two coats of that on all of the fingers except for the thumb for the thumb i'm going to be putting some white gel polish but i just wanted to get this nude down first as my base i am going to be doing two french tip nails and then i'm also going to be doing some 3d nail art and some bling so yeah i'm just going to go in with two coats of those colors and i'm going to cure in between each coat before i get too far into the video i wanted to go ahead and do my featured comment so thank you so much nita for your comment on my previous video i really appreciate it On the pinky and pointer, I'm going to be going in with this French tip tape. I'm just applying it on the nail and just pressing it on and smoothing it down. And then I'm going to go in with two coats of white gel polish as my French tip. Once I remove the French tip tape, I'm going to go in with a small dotting tool in these four colors. These colors are all from a different gel polish kit, so I'll list all of them in the description box. But I'm just going in and doing like the swirl nail design, and I'm also making sure that I cover up any imperfections with my French tip line. Once I have all of my swirls painted on, I cured that in the lamp and now I'm going in with a small dotting tool and applying some of this gel polish into my 3D molds. So I got this silicone mold from AliExpress. I've used it before and I'll leave some of those videos linked in the description box of other 3D flower designs. But I'm just going to go in and fill in each of the molds using the different colors and then I'm just going to cure those in the lamp. I left those flowers in the lamp for about two minutes just to make sure that they're fully cured. 
And now I'm going in with some Enel Couture Gummy Jelly all over the middle finger. I'm going to be placing the flowers on random parts of the nail, so I just wanted to make sure it was fully covered. And now I'm going over that with some top coat gel. Then I'm just going to pop the flowers out of the mold and just place them randomly on the nail. Some of the flowers did break apart, but I just decided to keep them and just put them on like the edges of the nails. And I think that kind of added to the design. So I'm just going to go in and place all of them on the nail, and then I'm going to add some blank and random spaces to kind of fill it in and just add to the design. Once I have my 3D flowers cured into place, I decided to go in and add some glitter to the thumb. So I'm just going in with some top coat gel and then I'm just going to pour the glitter over it. Typically, I would apply my glitter into the second coat of whatever color is the base. So when I did my second coat of white gel polish, I would have typically just poured it into that. But I decided at the last minute to add glitter to this nail, so I just used the top coat to adhere it. But I'm just going to place that on the nail and then I'm just going to cure it in the lamp. I'm adding a few stones to the ring finger, so I'm going in with some Enel Couture Gummy Jelly, and then I'm just going to go over that with a top coat gel. Then I'm just going to take a wax pencil and place my rhinestones. I decided to make the pointer and pinky matte, so I'm just going over those with some matte top coat and I'm just going to cure those in the lamp and that's pretty much it for this nail design. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out when I upload.